to your Astro Dice reading for November. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. And cross watchers, of course. Okay. Kind of an interesting month we have going on over here. So before I even grab these dice, let's just get into it for one second. There's something huge, major, right, that's going on this month. It's because we started this month with a new moon. So therefore, it has completely reset itself for the end of the year, saying, hey, have this great reset. Time to let go. Let's restart this, renew this, get these new things going on. So things are going to be a little topsy-turvy because we are having this reset, right? So very nice. Having a lot of trans transitions, transformations, things are changing around. So let's just get in here and see what's going on with you. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So let's get in here and see what's going on. We have some big things coming up. We do have a Mercury retrograde on the 25th coming in. Um, of course, that'll be Sagittarius season then. Uh, but then, of course, the 15th, we have the full moon in Taurus, which is going to be running with Uranus. So that's going to be a little turbulent. Okay, it's going to cause a little bit of an upset, a little bit of a turbulence going on. Okay, so because of the sudden changes and awarenesses that are going to run with that. But let's just see what you have here. We have that beautiful Mars coming in with some Leo energy going straight into the fourth house. Okay, so having that Mars energy coming out is your physical energy, drive, strength, and light and fighting spirit going to be kind of lightning fast in its own way, right? <clears throat> um, but you do have this beautiful Leo coming out with it. So guys, are really fiery over here um, this month for you in the uh, fourth house. The energy is flamboyant, dry, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. Yeah. If you guys watched the other videos, I did have the new camera up, but I just, I have to send it back, guys. I cannot stand that it that it doesn't, you can't read, okay, I just, that drives me insane, I mean, this whole idea is about cards, if we can't read the cards, and it doesn't really want to focus on the cards, it just drove me crazy, you know, the pixels, and, you know, the 6k, and everything was beautiful, um, but it didn't want to focus on the cards, so if you guys are watching those other videos, and you're like, hey, how come my video doesn't look like that, that's because I cannot stand the camera, <laughs> I love the microphone. I love everything, guys, but it doesn't read the cards. And you're going to notice, right, this one is not as clean, right? It's not as clean as the other one, but it focuses on the cards. If I bring this card up, you can see it says Leo. The other one does not. It's like, it's like having a dream and trying to read in a dream, right? It's like you can't. It <clears throat> drives me crazy. <clears throat> but I have it... Uh, Taurus also had Mars in its reading as well, but I had to throw that reading away because it didn't want to, my editing program didn't like the system, so it kept turning my computer off. It's very crazy, a lot of crazy times, crazy things going on. You're going straight into the fourth house, your home and roots of your being. So I just wanted to bring that up, okay, just in case you guys are like, hey, what happened? <clears throat> there was only certain signs that got it. Uh, I got six signs out of it. I lost three, so that was just an FYI for you guys. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Going straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. I will be buying another camera and trying it again. Never say die. Uh, so let's see. Got the Pisces card upside down. Look at that. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Got the High Priestess over here talking about secrets, hidden agendas, withdrawn. Uh, you might be dealing with somebody who you feel is being a little selfish. Maybe you are feeling a little selfish as well. Maybe you're like, you know what? I've got something and I want to keep it to myself. And maybe somebody else thinks that's selfish. Okay, so sometimes selfish reasons are for you, our own understanding, which could cause misunderstandings. Okay, so something could be going on like that. 
Um, maybe you are keeping a secret to yourself and somebody's like, tell me, and you're, you're like, you're selfish, right? Um, but this is because, ooh, no victory for that situation, but it's causing feeling stuck. So take it whether or not it's somebody else is doing this or maybe you're withholding information because you don't feel like, you know, dealing with this is just a major loss anyway, so why would I want to deal with it? Okay, so let's just clarify it on the beginning of the month here. Having the Knight of Swords coming out. So definitely feeling like somebody could be a little rash or maybe you feel because of this Mars energy, maybe you're taking a little bit of a rash decision. Um, whether it's you or someone else, you will know, um, right? Maybe you feel like, you know, whoever, is, whether it's you or them who over here withdrawing from this situation, it might feel a little rash, right? It, it might, somebody might be thinking like this Libra might be thinking, could be Libra, might be thinking, you know what, you're taking um, a very rash decision. But that that's that Mars energy, right? Rash, intense, impulsive. Fire in itself is impulsive. So you might just be feeling, you know, you might just be feeling like they are or you are. You might even think it's a little bit of a rash decision. I mean, you might even be sitting back, you know, if it's you who's kind of withdrawn from the situation and saying, I don't want to have any misunderstandings. We've had a lot. Um, or I don't want to have any at all. Um, but maybe you're thinking, man, but you know, sitting back like this and kind of hermiting out, it might be a little rash. You know what I mean? Like me not talking to them at all. So it could be something that's also going through your mind, but you might be thinking that I'm taking a little, I'm doing it a little bit more than maybe I need to be doing the step back, maybe too far back. Um, so there, you know, so you might think, you know what, maybe I'll, it just kind of feels like you or them may feel like, you know, you were, you wanted the modest approach to the situation, but it does feel like it's, it's done a little, you know, impulsive, a little rash, a little like fast and gone. <laughs> right. So, you know, so you definitely could be feeling that. Um, okay. So, and this definitely, you know, within the fourth house, it could be your love. It could be your spouse. It could be your, your family members, something that you love. You know, it's like, you know, for a lot of, it's like something I love. Right, that I be, I might be being a little rash towards that, or my my loved one is being a little rash towards me. You know, they could have been a little more, you know, just kind of like I, I don't feel good. I'm gonna go sit down, you know, and it just didn't. Ha it's just not happening that way. So take that how that is. Let's get on to the mid month. So starting off with a little bit of high emotions, right? But everybody is, everybody is, because of the new moon. So let's see. Yeah, some poor communication could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Pisces, Gemini. But it does say you have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So around the full moon time, around the 15th or so, you're going to see the wheel turn. Wow. So wherever you are here, it's going to tr start turning in your favor. So all of what was going on in the beginning of the month, you know, is, uh, so yeah, you're still going to have poor communication at the very beginning of the mid-month. But I feel by the full moon, I, everything starts to turn around. You're going to see that reset. You're going to actually watch the reset. You're going to actually watch, you know, it, it's going to be very unpredictable of how this is going to go in your favor. Absolutely. Here goes the fighting is over. Starting to respect each other's differences. So if you're definitely, whoever you're dealing with, whether it's, you know, whatever it has to do within the fourth house family, whoever you're arguing, I, I feel like you're arguing with someone. I mean, you could be definitely arguing with an insurance company for your house, property management, you know, but whatever is going on, whoever you're arguing with when it comes to the fourth house, it's definitely respecting each other's differences. You're going to start agreeing to, maybe you're agreeing to disagree and that's fine, right? That's a good debate because that can cause peace, right? So a little, you know, a little diversity will always cause peace. So it, it's fine, right? Right? 
So if you did have misunderstandings and misinformation, because this is misunderstandings and this is misinformation, this is definitely has something to do with some kind of misunderstanding that caused this issue. It's all coming and working back. The will of fortune is now in your favor for them to say, okay, you know what? This was misinformation. This was, you know what? Let's just fix the shit instead of fighting about it. I don't, might not 100% see it your way and that's fine. And you'll say fine and I don't 100% see it your way. But you know what? Let's fix the situation. Let's come to peace with terms of this situation. And that's where everything starts turning around in your favor. And that's when everything starts going back the way it needs to be. Even if it's not 100 it start at least that's the starting point. That's where the wheel says it's time. It's time to get this done. That needs to end so that we can start a new beginning. So definitely the ending point to start something fresh. This is where the weight is. Yes, because we're having poor communication and we're in bad news, but there's a wait. There's a pause. Why is this the pause? Because the, you know what? You guys are still litigating. You're still at your differences. You're still having misinformation, misunderstandings, and now you're in a pause mode. Well, you need that pause mode, and that pause mode is very good, like very good, because that's going to give that settling just for a minute, even if it's for three days. It's going to settle the storm so that wheel can come back in your favor. And when they come back, you're going to realize exactly what I said before. Right. They want to work this out. Let's put it that way. Trying to fix the terms, trying to fix the situation. Right. Yeah. Now you might feel like in some ways that it might be a little bit of manipulation on their side. You might feel like they're candy coating the situation. I'm going to really say that. Um, and this is because they realize something is going on. They might be, you know, the, the best word to use for this one is not even really manipulation. It's, it's baby manipulation, gaslighting. You might find that it's gaslighting. It might be gaslighting you. But if that's what it takes to get this to peace... And let it go. Because you can't fix you can't fix the world. If that's what the good luck is, if that's what the change is, if that's what the turning point is to get out of this litigation, to get out of these differences, to get out of this conflict, let it be. Because you're not gonna fix that. And if you you know, there's only one solution over here. Either you let it be or you call them out on the gaslighting, and the whole fight will start again. You lose your will of fortune. <clears throat> right? Sometimes we're just like, uh, whatever. That's pretty much the, the scenario. Because I'm going to tell you right now, for a lot of you, they're going to kind of gaslight the situation. And sometimes we get older, we just have to say, F it and go. You know why? Because I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of the disagreements. Let it go. Queen of spades. Yep. Because you're just going to, you're going to end up the queen of spades. You're going to end up head over heart and just speaking your truth. But you're going to know the truth. You're going to know the truth. You're going to know they're gaslighting you. You're going to know this is a little bit of manipulation or, um, you know, it's uh, them trying to appease. That's, you know, or appeasing you through gaslighting and a little manipulation. But in this scenario with the Wheel of Fortune, it's almost like that's that's all you're going to get out of this situation. They're not really going to come back 100. I don't see that, guys. Not at this time. Not at this time. See? Disagreement. Or allow the disagreement again. <laughs> and then be disappointed and have no victory. Yeah. So, you know, it says the world turns in your favor and your own desires, right? If you just long to manage the situation and let them do what they need to do so that you can have the happiness that you have, right? Because you have this domineering person that, you know, however, sometimes it's just the way life is, right? Get older, you just like appease me, fine, screw it. 
I'm not going to live my life in misery, right? Like, whatever. There's always a different day. Right? There's always a different day and a different situation. Getting to the end of the month. Because no matter what, you're the queen of swords, guys. You already know the truth, so it didn't matter anyways. Just, you know, let the peace go. Now, yeah, look, because you, no matter what, you already see it. Your intuition is open. You already feel like they did kind of gaslight that they just appeased the situation. So therefore, you don't feel like it's completely full anyways, but it was good enough to be able, it's good enough to be able to work now on the situation for sustainable results, getting that wish come true to actually feel like at least I can be in my own con contentment. At least I can feel the satisfaction, even if it's not 100% satisfaction guaranteed. At least now, though, I can plant and get to where it is I need to be within my life. Right? I mean, it's life. Not everything is going to, you know, you can't have, not everything is going to be gold and diamonds. So it's almost like you're just picking. It's like the pick and choose where the gold and diamonds are. And you're saying this is golden enough. It might be fool's gold, but you know what? It's good enough to make appeasement. It's good enough to keep the peace. It's good enough for me to be satisfied with the situation so that you're not, we're not going back and forth all the time and you're causing me all this damn stress. It's good enough for now. Sometimes that's what it is, too. It's good enough for now. <laughs> I deal with it later if it comes up again. If it doesn't come up again, then I don't have to worry about it. Just let it go. Because deep down inside, you already know the truth about the person that you're dealing with anyways. Right? Whether it's the homeowner and it's, you know, that renter. You know, you rent and it's the homeowner. You already know. If it's, you know, property property management of some kind of, you know, building, an apartment building that you live in, you already know. You know, if it's your spouse, you're like, whatever, we'll get back to that later, whatever. <laughs> right? If it's a family member, whatever, they do it anyways. Just lucky I got that far. <laughs> right? I mean, that's... So whatever it is, it's breaking the change and getting away from the temptation to want to argue with this person, just knowing that you have this, you know, having this news from them that they want to try to do something, right? Be oily and slick is what I always call it, right? Um, yeah, because no matter what, it's it's like you already know their bad debts. They already know their 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 flaws, you already know the understanding of what they're saying with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's saying, I already understand this situation. It's not like this is new or like, oh my God, you know. And if it is new, boy, you're going to find out, right, real quick of how they really want to treat you and how they really want to do things. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's more like one of those things, though, right, where you're just like, shh. You know, because it's not like the first time we've dealt with people like this, right? So, yeah, definitely going to get past that. Oh, let's go ahead and grab, yeah, there's that turmoil. But, I mean, at least for Mercury Retrograde over here, it's going to be more of an awareness for you on how it's all going together. Because remember, the Mercury retrograde is going to be the 25th through December 15th. And then the full moon in Taurus, which is coming with Uranus, right, is the uh, the 15th. So, yeah, it looks, like I said, that's why I said the Wheel of Fortune on the 15th. Monkey experiences all that life has to offer. Yeah. Yeah. So just keep your heart open and be that monkey. Experience it all. Because no matter what, it's all a learning situation. And if you've never dealt with someone like this before, you're going to learn how to deal with this person without having it just have to blow up and become this larger-than-life situation. You can learn to 
you know, reel it in and don't let them, you know what I mean? Don't let them just be the center of all your energy and let, you know, because if you let them be the center of all of the energy and the center of the world, right, they will, you know what I mean? They will know how to play that. Right now, they don't want to do that. That's why they're gaslighting. Ooh. See, because they already know you're not playing. You see the point? They already know you're not playing around. So therefore, if you're not playing around, I'm just going to be this way, right? Snake, live according to your divine essence. And that's what you're doing. And that's where the Nine of Cups is coming in. Okay? So very nice, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.